It is June 14th. It's Flag Day, a holiday that dates back 244 years in the United States. That's right. It is a day to display patriotism and honor the Stars and Stripes, but that doesn't just have to be with the traditional flag. Josh Landon is here to explain. Josh, good morning. Jay and Amy, good morning to you. The flag itself is beautiful, and for a local artist, it's the inspiration for his amazing paintings. The tunes of the Star Spangled Banner, along with different images of the American flag, are meant to unite us as a nation. I think the flag is more poignant than anything because we're so divided as a country between red and blue, black and white, whatever it is. And I'm telling you, I want, this country was founded on freedom and liberty and unification, unity. This, we need the unity back in America. And that's what this flag to me represents is the United States of America. Tim Yankee is a talented artist and Metro Detroit native who is showcasing his work at the Park West Gallery in Southfield. He paints scriptures of the national anthem and uses multicolors representing different countries. Immigrants and people coming into the country bringing the colors of their nationality and their community and the vibrancy of the colors of where they're from. Both my grandparents were immigrants from Europe. So I, I did something to represent the melting pot of America, which is built from people from all over the globe, if you will, uh, to a standard, regular, you know, three by five ratio uh, flag here uh, to one honoring uh, the Vietnam veterans with the uh, Vietnam color bar. There's also a sense of humor for Yankee painting the stars for all 50 states, no pun intended. Us being in Michigan, I, I did put Ohio in there, but it's really, really small. <laughs> you really gotta look for it. <laughs> you can't leave them out, but they're barely in there. <laughs> The holiday goes back to June 14th, 1777, when the United States approved the design of our flag, which has gone through nearly 30 transitions, with this one, according to Tim Yankee, probably the longest running flag for the last 60 years. It's a perfect match for the art and the artist. When your last name's Yankee, yeah. I mean, it, by default, I mean, you're golden right there. It's like, what else would you paint, right? You're, so, Yankee. you're a Yankee, so. And now you can go see Tim Yankee's artwork and much more at the Park West Gallery, which is free to the public, open seven days a week, guys. Very nice. Yeah, yeah his stuff looks great. I it mean, really it really does. You can imagine it, you know, you can imagine it anywhere. You can imagine it in a museum. You can imagine it, you know, in your living room. Yeah. Good. And it's uh, good to go to a place like that and see a variety of different paintings and artwork and whatnot. So uh, definitely go check it out. Once again, it's on uh, Northwestern Highway <clears throat> in Southfield. So. <clears throat> Don't you hate when your throat gets a little clogged up? It gets you all That's choked okay. up, Josh. It's I know, right. it gets a little choked up. <laughs> yeah. It's Monday, the weather's all weird and whatnot, but nevertheless, uh, Park West Gallery, Northwestern Highway in Southfield, definitely go check it out. Uh, great paintings there with uh, Tim Yankee and much more once you take a stroll around. All right, Josh, great story, thank you.